My mother's face is a mighty rushing wind. It filled me up as a kid. Her clover tongues is like that of fire. It managed to rest upon me. My mother told me to believe. A eh, hand on your waist, tie yourself, stomp your feet kind of belief. She told me not about the things that have no names. To ears that can't hear. To eyes that can't see. She said, God does not exist. It's been 12 years now. My face has become a tornado. Pain has become an insatiable God and I is ardent worshipper. Bells. I am engaged to things that ring. Like alarms, emergencies, like my head, bells of the sky. I want to scream, but my head is under water. Everything I love, including my mother, now seems father. Groanings, sense of longings, voices becoming. Not too loud to be heard, too loud to make me high, to make me take flight from things that keeps me grounded. God requires no incense to make me lose my sense, God. I bow worship, but that's really God. Make me bow my head and I'm not even praying. God, God, God to my head. My body is an explosive device, so if I blow up now, can I call myself a celebrity? <laughs> you see, I've never been to a shrine, but I know a thing about incantations. I know how to grip the demon's head with says I know how to kneel and beg. Please, don't let me die. I don't want to live like this. Please, give me a day, just a month. Please, just a year is enough. The pain has been my diet. I don't want to die yet. Incantations like this go well with sweaty palms, shivering of anxiety, bow of shame. These gods have no names. They told me not to bother things that have no names. So I said, maybe, maybe everything that I am does not exist.